Okay, builders, and it is Jordi here. Welcome to our rope bridge or chain bridge. We have invented this on my server and we absolutely love it. It looks good. It can fill just about any gap you want. And I built this one today with a, a higher area there and a lower area there, showing that this is actually quite a versatile design. You just need to decide how many of these steps are going to go down, how many are going to go across, and how many are going to go up on the other side. You could have it completely even if you want. We add a, a kind of a high side and a low side. This shows the versatility of this design. You just need to change this gap here, how many of these you have, and how many of these you have, and tailor it to the gap that you have. Now, I have used, um, as you can see, four grindstones, uh, loads of acacia slabs. Obviously, you could use any wood, any slab. Uh, acacia trapdoors might look really good in spruce this one because obviously spruce trapdoors wouldn't have the gap in between and a whole bunch of chains sneak preview of this transformation it's an epic seed transformation which we're working on uh, on my channel and that'll be out very soon as well in fact by the time you look at this video it may be out so how do we do this so first of all we're going to stick a couple of these grindstones onto your attachment points and i've chosen um, chiseled stone bricks to be my uh, attachment points and i think they look mighty fine we're going to add on here a full block here of your planks of your choice acacia spruce whatever you're choosing and then your chains go on like that and once your chains are on then you can go for your acacia slabs here so i'm going to go one two three like that and then you want to just do another three like that down the way like that so as you can see those are upper sorry these are bottom slabs and these ones here are upper slabs and that is the secret you're always putting these chains onto what's effectively um, an upper slab on that side and a, and a sorry a lower slab on that side and an upper slab uh, on that side anyway so that's one of those units and all we need to do is keep going so there is two units. Let's take away that and then more chains. And then you just need to experiment really with how many of these you're going to use. <coughs> so let's put that one there. No, 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 this needs to go down a bit. There we go. Just need to make sure it's completely accurate as you place these blocks. You need to be going down in height each time you do one. So let's keep on going with this. We'll build the whole bridge, but you get the idea, I hope. I do like to take away that extra block there, although it's actually quite a sneaky thing to do if you've got some vines. Is there any vines are hanging around here somewhere? Here's a vine. If I grab this vine, it's actually quite sneaky. If you leave one of these blocks in, you could put a vine on it. Now, that one won't work, but this one actually should work. We should be able to put a vine <laughs> uh, on one of these. Never mind, we'll put the vines on later. Let's crack on. One, two, and then there, there, like that, there we go. Take off that one. So how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's how many I wanted to do. Yep, I just check that off camera. We've got five coming down the way. Um, maybe I could tell you how big this gap is as well, right? If I tell you how big the gap is, maybe that would would that help you? I don't think it would help you. You need to kind of just judge it for your, from on your own gap and make your bridge as wide as you need it. I don't think it, it matters seeing how big, oops, how big my one is. Right, so we've got that there. And then what we're doing is just continuing across chains and then bits like that. More chains, slabs like this. The chains are going to just slightly stick up the top of these slabs so there i've got four i'm going to go for five i think all together um that kind of matches up to my gap and we'll have just a couple um of the steep ones to join onto the other side so there we go there's five of them and of course more chains like this uh, we do have some trap doors and some other blocks to put in uh on this design as well so um these this we actually want to go up with these slabs so we actually want to go higher so this could be a bit tricky there we go see how they're slightly higher like that that's exactly what we want to do and of course we would do that there like that would the vines fit on this one no 
I had vines in the prototype. I don't know why it's not working. Never mind. And then one, two. Yeah, it's like the, it's the upper one we want, isn't it? So there, that's the one we want. So we've got one, two, and that means I think we're ready to link into our connectors over here. Oops. Grindstone, grindstone. I think in the prototype we put orange carpet on top of the grindstones as well for just an extra little bit of detail, but that might matter. Might depend on what particular plank you're going for. Are you going to go for spruce maybe for your bridge? And then acacia trapdoors just fit down there. And it's kind of a, a scary bridge to cross, but it does work. You can just walk straight across it. And um, that one under there, we're going to just place right there. You kind of have to kind of jump on that one. Yeah, these ones go underneath. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's it from above. You can see a continuous path all the way across. Now, just to neaten this up very slightly, um, I'm going to go one, two, one, two, right in the middle, and it kind of just links on nicely to the um, the trap doors that we just set in place there. And across here as well, one, two, three, four, and there we go. That is the bridge done. What do you think? You have to adjust it to your own gap and your own steepness on each side, but it can go for little teeny tiny gaps. And I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. In fact, if I show you one we did earlier on, whoever invented this one was the person who came up with it first on my server, but I'm afraid I don't actually know whose name it was. But look, very simple spruce bridge, just connecting these areas as well. And this one's got kind of a double flat spruce uh, one in the middle, and that works out just as well. Um, so these ones don't have the trap doors on them, but you could do that and you could put on spruce trap door if you want to make it exactly the same as my tutorial so there we go what do you think of the little bridge hopefully you like it uh, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials more transformations and more building in minecraft including a building habits series coming up very soon take care for now ciao ciao when the blocks be with you